Praise the Lord. Good morning and welcome to the Sunrise with Jesus. Friends, we have this awesome option offered to us by our Lord Jesus today that you and I do not need to fear the storms, but when we are surrounded by stormy waters, the Lord invites us to walk on the waters. Today, we are going to look at the beautiful fruit of the Holy Spirit called peace and how you and I can live our every day and our today in peace. Friends, for you and I to see and to live out God's supremely good plan for every one of us for our lives, we need clarity. And clarity of vision is only possible where there is peace of heart. Now, how do we get this peace of heart? The Word of God says in the prophecy of Isaiah chapter 26, verse 3, God keeps him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on God, whose trust is in God. So in different translations, we're given this promise that when you keep your mind on God, you will experience perfect peace. So friends, we're going to look at five verses in the Gospels, five words that Jesus speaks, which if we allow our mind to rest on, will surely be the most super efficient stress busters for our daily life and for us to live today in the peace that surpasses understanding. And the first promise we see in Matthew chapter 6 verse 34 where the Lord says, do not worry about tomorrow. Friends, Jesus is telling us and this is a command do not worry about tomorrow. The God who is taking care of you today, the God who has been with you all this while, will be with you in your tomorrows. And very often, whatever absorbs our mind as an anxiety is bound to blind us. We see in that Easter morning, Mary Magdalene is all anxious about who is going to roll the stone away from the sealed tomb because she is going there in order to anoint the body of Jesus. And when she reaches there, her anxiety is still gripping her that even though the stone has been rolled away, she cannot see the working of God. What's more, anxiety is like a bondage that grips you. It has gripped this lady who, though she looks at the risen Lord, she only can see a gardener. And friends, here is why. We must know whatever we are anxious about is imaginary. If we are worrying about tomorrow, we are worrying about something that has never happened, something that may not happen. Friends, very many of us would remember the things we most worried about and agonized about never came to pass. And that is why Jesus says, live today well, give your best for today, be faithful to your duties today. And that's the best way to be prepared for tomorrow. Jesus says, do not worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will take care of itself. The second promise we are looking at is in Matthew chapter 15 verse 34. Now this is located in this marvelous miracle of the feeding of the multitudes. Now you have the same event, different gospels and also in another portion in the same gospel of Matthew. The verse we are looking at is where Jesus turns to his disciples and asks them, what do you have? How many loaves do you have? Now the apostles are faced with a great crisis that there is this huge multitude who have come to listen to Jesus preaching and Jesus is asking them to feed this great big multitude of over 5,000 people. And they're trying to kind of reason out with Jesus like we don't have the resources to meet the need. And that is when Jesus says, what do you have? 
what do you have you give friends when we are faced with situations that are far beyond our abilities to handle all that we need to do is to go to jesus and give what we have remember jesus says come to me you who are tired and overburdened i will give you rest and we can understand when we are overburdened when our resources are just too meager for us to meet the need of the hour we just need to take it to the lord and say lord all i have are these seven loaves and few fish or five loaves and two fish and i have this huge big situation to meet and in the blessing of the lord what we have will be more than sufficient friends if today you have just a little bit of love to give give that if today your words of encouragement are too meager for a person who's deeply distressed offer that if what you have is very little strength and a great task ahead of you with that little strength do all that you can you do your best and as it is said god will do the rest give what you have and know that what you do not have you cannot give and that is where we trust in god the next promise that jesus gives us in matthew chapter 6 verse 32 he says your heavenly father knows friends your heavenly father knows your needs does this remind us of that beautiful promise that we read in the first letter of saint peter chapter 5 verse 7 where the word of god says cast your cares upon the lord for he cares for you it is not your job to be anxious your god is anxious for you and when god cares for you he will do so much more than all the anxiety can do for you friends your heavenly father knows and this must help us to be confident in prayer very often we go to prayer like we are going before a judge we are preparing our arguments to convince god of what should be happening and what we should get and here is where let's go with the meager words with our meager abilities with our failing efforts and guess what our god knows exactly what he has to do in our lives he knows better than we do what is there within our hearts the next great promise we see is in john chapter 14 verse 6 where jesus says i am the way friends if you're not able to see a way beyond you're struggling with a decision you just don't know how to proceed in the situation that you're faced with stay with jesus when i show you a highway and i tell you this highway leads you to the cape comoran to the end of our country well we obviously cannot see the country but we stick by that highway we know that when we stay on this road it's going to lead us to exactly that destination it promises us to and jesus says i am the way when you don't see a way stay with jesus he will lead you to that destination that goal that you were made to achieve finally if you're looking at the promise in john chapter 16 verse 33 where jesus says In this world you will have trouble but do not be afraid take heart be of good courage i have conquered the world friends if you have troubles in your life and you are anxious why am i having these troubles how will i solve it god is saying listen right now you're on the earth and in this world you will have troubles but know this Every trouble is the venue where you will see me leading you to overcome it. Every trouble is the place where you will see the power and the goodness of God lifting you over those troubles and proving to you once again that you are a conqueror. 
offense, we remember that beautiful promise in Romans 8, 28, where the word of God says, all things will work for the good for those who love God. Yes, even the troubles in our life will become a mighty blessing when we are keeping our eyes on God. So we have looked at these five promises and I pray that these five promises will resonate in your heart, speaking the word of peace. And as the storms were stilled, may all the anxieties in your heart be wiped away that you may walk in perfect peace. It is sin that takes away all the peace, all the peace from our hearts. Remember Adam and Eve, they were in peace, in great joy. They were so close to God, always connected to God. But the moment they committed sin, what happened? Adam and Eve, they were frightened and they were hiding behind the tree. But then God came calling. Whenever we commit a sin, God comes calling. That's our conscience. God comes calling. Adam, where are you? Adam said, oh God, I'm hiding behind the tree because I'm naked. There is a special meaning for nakedness in the Bible. Nakedness means shame. And that's what Adam was telling God. I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed of myself. I'm so broken. I cannot even look at your face. Adam lost that peace with God, that connectedness with God. When we are connected with God, that's when peace flows into us from God. My dear sisters and brothers, this is what sin is. Sin brings in all the negative emotions, all the negative attitudes, because we are cut off, we are dried up, a ray of light, if it is disconnected from the bulb, from the source of light, if it is disconnected, it becomes darkness, right? A stream, if it is disconnected from the spring, it gets dried up. It's exactly what happens to us. All the tranquility will be lost. And Jesus came down from heaven to give us that peace, to connect us with God again, that we may remain in the tranquility, heavenly peace. And Jesus went about giving peace to everyone. The moment we lose our God, we stray away from God, all these evil powers will come and dwell in our hearts. And during the Last Supper, Jesus said to the apostles, I give you my peace. John chapter 14, verse 27. I give you my peace. Not as the world gives. The world will not be able to take that peace away from your heart. I give you my peace. This is during the Last Supper. Jesus, in a very personal way, went about giving peace to everyone disconnected with God, with everyone in sin, with everyone in distress, very personal way, Jesus gave them peace. And finally, Jesus wanted his peace to reach his salvation 
to reach his forgiveness to reach the ends of the earth for everyone of all times and that's what jesus died for he offered his life on the cross in his blood he won salvation for us peace for us in his blood and he dispelled the darkness of sin in the splendor of the glory of the resurrection hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. thank you jesus hallelujah. praise you jesus sacred host a little piece of bread you become so small because you love us you continue to save us you offered yourself on the cross so that we may not be lost in our sin in our pain you, in the Jesus. misery of our life when you are there for us oh God we have the confidence confidence to live confidence that our sins will be forgiven confidence that our needs will be met confidence that our future will be safe and secure oh god we cry out to you holy 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 we cry holy 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 we cry
all the plans we have for our future. We give it all to you, O God, praising you, thanking you. You are our God, our forgiver, and our healer. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Bless you, Lord Jesus. Jesus, you're coming to every such memory, painful memory of my past, holding me close to you as the wounded sheep. Jesus, I am wounded. I'm wounded. Lord, you will bind up my wounds. You will fill my heart with your love and joy. Jesus, I remember what you said, Matthew 10, 29, are not two sparrows sold for one penny, but not one of them falls to the ground without my father's knowledge. But then when St. Luke gives us the same word, there's a little difference. In St. Luke we read, Luke chapter 12 verse 6, are not five sparrows sold for two pennies? Are not five sparrows sold for two pennies? You give one more penny. You get not four sparrows, but five. In the human counting, that fifth sparrow is of no value. No value. A young girl told me, Father, I am that fifth sparrow. I always thought I have no value. But Jesus, you said, even that sparrow is precious in the eyes of my Father. Lord, whisper to me who I am, what I am for you, what I mean for you, that I am precious to you. You are precious to me. Precious to me, you are dear to my heart. I will love you forever, forever, forever. Remember not your past anymore. Remember not your past anymore. Something new I'm doing for you. In the wilderness, I will make a way. In the desert, rivers will flow, will flow, will flow. You are precious to me. Jesus, your voice, you your voice speaking to, to my heart. Me. to my heart I will love you forever 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 fear not I have redeemed you the waters will not overwhelm me burning flames will not consume Your promise, you will be there by my side. I have called you by a name. I have called out your name. I will not forget you, no forsake you. Lord, you will not forget me. Fear not, I have redeemed you, redeemed you, redeemed you. to me You are dear to my
flames will not consume me. I will be ever beside you to deliver you. Jesus, the compassion of the Lord flowing into your heart. Feel the power. Bartimaeus felt that power in his eyes. You're feeling it in your eyes. Whatever has gone wrong with your eyes, the Lord is healing you. The woman with the hemorrhages felt it in her body. Whatever you're suffering from in your inner glance, the Lord's power is flowing in to heal you. The paralyzed felt it. The paralyzed felt it in their legs, in their joints. All that pain of your legs, all that problem of the knee joints, the Lord is healing you. That headache, that headache, migraine headache, the Lord is healing you. The Lord healed the boy with the epilepsy in his brain. In his brain, he felt the power, the power of the Lord. Feel it. Feel it, my brothers and sisters, this hour. Feel the power of the compassion of the Lord filling your heart and the power, healing power, healing power coming to you, to every one of you. Thank you, Lord. Jesus, I praise you, Lord, for your healing, for your love bathing me now, for your power filling me now and healing me now and making me a new creation. Thank you, Lord. Jesus, praise you. Lord, bless us. Give us your blessing. Make us a blessing. Make us a blessing, a joyous presence to everyone around us. Make us a blessing. Lord, bless us. Oh, of the Divine Retreat Center needs your support as they continue in their commitment to preach the good news of Jesus through the weekly retreats, the daily online and television ministry, through the service of 3,000 disadvantaged persons, the mentally challenged, the aged, the destitute women, the sick and abandoned and economically disadvantaged families. If you are inspired to share in this ministry through the sacred service of almsgiving, we invite you to send your love offering to Divine Charitable Trust CD account number 0402231010 14 HDFC Bank Chalakudi Branch IFSC Code HDFC 
0-800-222-0402 and email the details to divineretreatcenter at gmail.com.